Welcome back. Yes, I have been gushing this whole week. We have been so excited. It is an incredible time to be alive. We keep telling you that if you think a phone can't get any better or possibly do any more, add any more to your lifestyle, then you are wrong. Samsung have taken their notorious lead in innovation just one step further and brought us and the entire world a brand new foldable range through the Galaxy Z series. They are incredible. We've already been treated to a few sneak peeks on the show, but today we're gonna take a deep dive. We're gonna go one step further to really appreciate the power and the heart of the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. And here to tell us all about it is our favorite team, Team Samsung. Let's welcome, oh, I, I, he, he lives here basically. He's you know got an indentation on that couch. Uh, Justin Hume, the Director of Integrated Mobility. Then Durazile Makolo, the Chief Marketing Officer for Samsung South Africa. And our favorite tech guru, Mr. Grant Hines. Guys, welcome. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, I've been, my, my face is cramping. I've been smiling so much because whenever you guys come, I know that it's going to blow my mind because it always feels like a quantum leap forward. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I can remember when Fold was a notion, was an idea. And now we are sitting here, not just as a reality, but it's encapsulated in these amazing devices. We had Sarah Langer here yesterday and Kiara Kittner, two fantastic yeah. content creators who've really put these devices through their paces. Why is now, if you've, you're lucky enough to have an upgrade or, or have the cash available to you, why is now the time to upgrade to a fold? Well, I mean, it's, it's a brilliant time right now uh, in that regard. So we, we see this, trend emerging and in fact you know in my mind I think about it almost as this is the the third um, paradigm of the mobile industry you know we had we had phones originally when they came out and it was amazing oh I could walk away from my telephone and keep a mobile conversation <laughs> going then we got to smartphones right and suddenly I can get YouTube I can get Netflix I can you know do everything on here and the screen real estate had to get bigger and bigger and then it was okay but what about portability? And we solved that by then literally taking the device and folding it in half. But I mean, this market is, is set to explode. We, the, the, the analysts and these guys are all predicting that it will grow to about um, almost 7 million units uh, in the next 12 months, uh, Jeez, going up to over 65 million units the, the year thereafter. Foldable technology is, is where it's happening. And you know, I think these days, we. We think back about our work, uh, work from home environment, how our lives have changed over the past uh, 18 odd months. Yeah. And you think how critical my technology has become. And so you need a product that can adapt to that, that can bring you video conferencing uh, at the same time as taking notes. And you know, I can sit here, I can pop it up in a little fold mode here. Uh, Didi's gonna share with us a little bit about that in a minute. And I can tap away on the keyboard, got my screen wow, going watching. Here. I know, it's everything happening. It's incredible, it backs it up. It's all about that work and play balance. Ultimately, we know that's a very strong focus because you listen to your consumers. Mm -hmm. And they've clearly had what they want in mind with this phone and you have delivered. How do we find that work-play balance with the fold? You know, a lot of us are, are, are sitting on video conferences these days. It's, yeah. it's our way of Every life. Day. Every, Every day. day. Um, and for me, the, 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 the um, flip, sorry, the, the, the fold. fold actually works quite well for me because you can multitask with it. So um, if you open it and you've got it on flex mode, you can have your teams um, on, the, on, the, on the top screen and you can still take notes. On your, um, on your bottom screen. And I think what's even a kicker is you can take notes and those notes will convert into text. So you don't have to go back and actually do the typing of minutes. You can just literally share that and file. Secretaries suddenly as... are, are no longer have a job. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, for me, that's, that's really cool. And I think with the, with the S Pen as well, it's, it's, it's the first S Pen on a portable device. We've got such big real estate in terms of screen and you can open up to say three different apps at the same time, which allows for great multitasking. So you can literally switch you doing your research on internet, can copy a picture and drag it onto your PowerPoint and Bob's your uncle. So you don't really have to be switching off here, starting off there. It's really brilliant for multitasking. Excuse the pun, it's seamless. It's um, it, it really is. And I, I <laughs> work off my device. We did a little test yesterday um, with Carl's phone and 
when folded up, it's smaller than his phone. When opened up, it's bigger than his tablet. Exactly. Which is, is mind-blowing. Let's talk about the flip, brother. You've been kind of buzzing this whole week, one of the first people to get your hands on these incredible uh, devices. Where is this taking mobile? To me, look, Samsung is the leader in mobile technologies in the world. Everybody is leagues behind, and this week, obviously, people saw the big news. Yeah. We can see that. What's happening with foldables is not just a fad. People have told me this. But what we're doing is we're adding extra functionality to devices that we will be using. So like Dudu and, and Justin were saying, like they've listed a couple of things. There are so many things that I've had an experience right now with the Fold that I didn't really knew that I could do. So uh, I've been able to like use the device to draw uh, and take notes. I'm actually going to show you right now. So this is a good example. Like if I'm watching a recipe and I've got the S Pen, because of the S Pen support on the big screen, I can then take a note. So Dudu was saying take note like of this recipe. I'm just going to write down some ingredients, uh, uh, what's happening over here. I don't know if that's going to work. And then I can then t convert this directly into text from the, from, the, uh, uh, from the notes app and then import that or send that through to somebody that is maybe at the shops or if I need to go to the shops later, I can just take these ingredients. There's just so many different things. Another thing that I really enjoyed doing was here, because you can split the screen and run, you can run up to three apps at the same time. This process is extremely powerful and you need that for the screen size. I was able then to like obviously have a picture of a reference image of a shark at the top, then use the S Pen's functionality to do this illustration just backstage and, and start drawing underneath uh, and use that reference without having multiple screens and multiple devices. So the future of foldables is extremely bright and I think that most phones are going to be foldable at some point it's, and yeah. Samsung are the leaders. Samsung are already three years ahead of everybody else. And in essence, yeah, and to see this screen technology, Samsung are the leaders in screen technology globally. You can talk to any journalist. And to see them do this and really take what we think of a, as a screen and take it to another dimension to give us more use cases for our mobile devices, it's just going to expand our productivity, it's going to expand our it's creativity. It's convergence, yeah, it's, and, it's mind blowing. And make it more useful. It's folded, you can still use it. How do we use the cover screen on the fold? Yeah, so folded, um, I've got a full 6.2 inch display over here. I can go through it, I can WhatsApp, I can do my call. Everything that you would normally do uh, on a device is here. So conventionally, uh, conventionally, um, 6.2 inches is a large format display, but it's, look, it's pretty slim light in there. And then I can open this up straight away into a full 7.6 inch uh, tablet-like experience. Yeah, it is a tablet. What I love about it, I just want to pick up from what uh, Grant was saying. So I've got um, WhatsApp here, and uh, I'm having a look, and I'm trying to show it to the screen here, but what's great about it is I can have sort of my, my various groups and everything down the side, but I can actually do the, the chat on As the a separate, separate screen. So I can split my screen. Oh. Uh, that possibly wasn't the best one to show on camera where I'm talking about <laughs> margins on the handsets. Um, what are those? Can we have that. another look there? Uh, <laughs> have another little squiz there. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Uh, no. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, so what's great about it, as Grant said, you know, watching a show, writing down the recipe. Well, the, the funny okay. thing is, because I've been doing a lot of pitching online in Teams, and now I can talk to the other people in the yes. meeting while we're busy pitching, exactly. while we, you know what I'm saying? It is yeah. mind-blowing. We're all about the ecosystem. We know that it's not just one device, but it's how it ties into the bigger picture. Are there any other wearables and things we can get excited about? Oh, we have. Um, uh, the one I'm loving here is this Galaxy Watch um, 4 Active. This is Beautiful, yeah. phenomenal. Uh, in fact, we were, we were having a little chat with, uh, with Grant backstage, and I thought, I'm not going to do it, but I'll, I'll let him <laughs> explain about um, bioelectrical or uh, biometric impedance uh, coming at you. Yeah, so, so uh, this is really mind blowing. So um, the watch has got this bioelectrical impedance, which if you can see, uh, let me hold this up so, to a camera where there we go. There, I'm going to just do that. There and we go. It's Pretty, so, eh? Yeah. It, it, okay, Man, look, it looks pretty good. Style. I'm all about good looking tech, but like it's also <laughs> got to work properly, right? So I'm going to measure my everything about my body right now, like just my health generalities. So I, I've, you put in your weight, I'm around, I, I think I'm 75 kilos. Let's just say Are that I'm debating I am. that right now. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I hope so. You, know, um, you use your two middle fingers, and then what it's going to do is to ring finger and your middle finger, and what it's doing is it's sending a a frequency all around my body. I'm closing the loop right now. Wow. So if you cut to a wide of me, 
uh, you'll see that, like, obviously my shoulders and my fingers and the phone kind of complete this sure. full loop. Circuit, and then yeah. once it's done measuring, there we go, it's completed measuring, uh, you can see where I stand, like, what is my health status? So 75 kilograms for, for my weight is pretty good. What is my skeletal mass? What is my fat mass? What is my body fat? Everything's pretty healthy. Uh, BMI, I could be, I could be uh, a little bit better. Um, <laughs> my, my body, like, I am in, I'm in the green. So, and it great. doesn't lie. No, That's, uh, it, no. It's clear. So uh, having this information is obviously really important. We need to have, the more information that we have about our health, the better, and the more we can call out a lot of these things. And like Justin was telling me earlier on in the show, that this has got a 98% accuracy. That when you go into like these big clinics, this technology has got a 98% so accuracy. Basically, our medical aids are going to start kind of warranting us wearing these daily. Uh, yeah. 100%. Yep. I mean, this tracks. Um, you know, it's got your your pulse rate, your blood pressure, um, even for sleep. So I can now determine the quality of sleep that I get. So I put, I keep my watch on. I put my phone next to me. This is picking up audio. This is sort of measuring my my blood pressure. And that. Am I snoring? Am I waking up during the night? You know, am I getting enough REM sleep? All those kind of things. That and I think the crazy. point is we were chatting about is that you want to know these days about am I in a healthy state? Well, am we're I spending so much time trying to get healthy? We want to know how we, we're tracking it. Tudu, Justin, uh, Grant, thank you so much. Stick around, guys. Um, still lots to delve into. We are doing a deep vibe, dive into two amazing devices. They are just mind-blowing. So many new features that I think you are going to love, but there is some very good news. We promised you the chance to win a Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, but you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer as we make the announcement later in the show. But before we get there, uh, Big Mike from Team Samsung is joining Jamie right now to whip up a banana bread and show us how the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is the ultimate multitasking companion in the kitchen even. Let's take a look.